Hello and welcome to this video. In this video we have a small but very significant update to the mobile app and it's one that I think is not to be missed. So make sure that you get yourself sat down and ready for this little update which I think is going to change the game when it comes to the mobile experience. Let's have a look. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with fancy new logo, that QuickBooks lab, um, lab, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Now, this update is very, very, very important because I think this update could make a massive change the way that you use QuickBooks online on your mobile phone. So without further ado, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and share the screen. As you can see in front of me now is the new dashboard just slightly. So what we've got here is a new area for profitability. See how much you made after an expense. So this is a very different view than what we've had before, but I really do like it. I think it's given us a lot of options here. We can see the income and it's nice little up 412%. We've got the expense down 19% and we've got how many transactions are unreviewed therefore could make an effect against that profit for that period. Cash flow is still there, the invoices at the bank, everything else is still there. A nice little disclaimer at the bottom, saying QuickBooks does not include tax preparation services and you will need to consult a tax preparer for tax advice related to preparation of your tax return. That's a nice little element there. For some reason though, it's not letting me see my bank account. So I think there might just be a bug with this particular one, but as you can see, that's been updated. Everything else here is exactly the same, but where it gets different and new is if I was to jump into my receipt snap area. You see, you know definitely by now how much I absolutely love the receipt snap. The idea is, and let's do it from scratch, let's go in and let's go from the main menu. But if I wanted to, and I wanted to record an expense. So let's say I had this receipt that I wanted to include in. Now notice it's a multiple pages, bit of a nightmare. Take me ages to put that information into QuickBooks, but not if I use Receipt Snap. You see, all I do for Receipt Snap is I go back to my homepage, I press Snap Receipt, I find the receipt I want, I press Capture, I press Use This Photo. If like magic, my information is now heading into QuickBooks Online. Now let it upload, bring it in, and it'll take me to my receipt area. Now part of this receipt area here gives me opportunities to see what's going on. And you can see that I've got transactions in there. Now, prior to this update, this is as far as we could go at this point. We weren't able to do anything else. We'd have to go to our browser experience to see it. But it was useful because this area is actually really clever because it's telling me now what transactions I've included in QuickBooks and which ones I haven't. I can see for review and reviewed. So much like the bank area, we know which items have been included in QuickBooks and which items are being. As you can see at the top there, it's telling me it's extracting the info. But all I need to do, say I want to go in and I want to include this um, Yo Sushi transaction here. Then I click into it. And now I get the ability to go in and say what it was that was here. Now it's extracted most information. So it's told me that, so I just put what's, what the tax type is. You can say what payment account. I said it's been paid by my credit card and it didn't pick my date this time, but normally it will find that date for me as well. Um, I think this one, let's just do 1st of April for completeness. And now I have the option to save receipt directly from the mobile app. And I wasn't able to do that before. That is an absolute game changer. So I can save my receipt. And that transaction has now been added. And I can create an expense from the receipt. If it found a match, it would have matched it for me. And it's bringing it through. Much, much, much better to use that one. Um, it's going to tell me if there's missing info down here, look. It's going to tell me that there's bits missing or if there's ready to go. So on this one, it was able to pick absolutely everything for it and bring that transaction in, which is great. And I wonder then if I go to my transactions, current account. See if I 
add that this time. Let's put it against. Entertainment. Press accept. And that's there. So now I've added that Yosushi from the bank account. Let's go and see what happens when I go back to receipts. Such a find one of those ones. Yeah, here we go. So now it's changed look. Now it's found one receipt found. It's found the fact that we've now seen that receipt in. Notice if I come out of there, it says one record found just the bottom there, giving me that ability to click into it, bringing up that matching expense and asking me, am I happy to match it? And then basically it will say this image has been saved with that expense. Now, again, it may seem like a really, really small update, but it's significant. It's significant because now the people who are exclusively using their mobile phone to run their business, which we have quite a few clients doing exactly that, well now they're able to complete everything just via their mobile phone. That is gonna be a huge way in which people can make more efficiencies while doing it. It's that ability, I've already tried to put in that Costco transaction, haven't I? So if I go in and I try and go back to my receipt snap, and if I was on the car or if I was on the phone or if I was just waiting around, I can now fill in the required amount to payment account and select ta tax card. Everything else has all been brought in for me. Bought my tax mountain, bought my total, bought taxes exclusive, bought suppliers. Everything else is absolutely fine. Now all I need to do is go through and even get the option to do a split as well. And the split is definitely new to the mobile app itself. Small but significant change and something that I think is going to make a real difference to you and your business. Let me know below what do you think to this change. Is this something you're going to be jumping on and getting the most out of? Or is it something that doesn't have any effect to you whatsoever? Personally, I'm finding a lot of people are going to find this as a great change and I can't wait to tell everyone about it. Okay, that's it for today. Small but very significant update and one I think that you need to make sure that you're aware of. So thankfully I've been able to go through that with you. Just remember on the channel now, we've had a little bit of a change. On Tuesdays is when we're gonna be uploading all of the QuickBooks goodness, just like this, this video here. But on Thursday, we're trying something a little bit different. We're trying a bit of a vlog, day in the life of that sort of style video content. And I'd really love to, you to let us know how you find those content. Is it something that's worthwhile? Is it something you're getting, ex you're getting information out of and content? Is it something worthwhile? Is it something that you're getting actual benefit out of? I'd love to hear from you. So let me know in the comments below if it's something that is actually worthwhile to you and if you think the new direction of the channel is something that's gonna be beneficial to you. Well, that's it today. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that jazz to help the channel grow. And I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks chat. Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.